Hi, I'm Cassia, and today I'm going to run through how to add related entities to your data tables on CodeBots. If you'd like to skip forward to any point in this video, just check out our description. So to start off with, I'll be navigating towards my app. So here we are. So it just sends me straight to my site dashboard, but you normally just have to log in. So now I'm going to navigate towards creating a new app. We're going to click custom setup for this one. Um, we're just going to create our own custom app. And then I will be using Springbot for this um, example. So I'm just going to call this my example app. And going to click ready to build. Okay, so now it's all set up and I can see my entity diagram in front of me. So for this app, um, we just want to create a little example. Um, so I'm going to navigate towards the templates on the left hand side here. And here you can see all our different templates for um, ease of access. So I'm thinking of adding, um, creating a sports club um, application. So here I'm just going to click the sports club um, template and then drag it across. So as you can see here, I've got all of my different entities. So I have members, team, um, competitions, coaching sessions, coaches, et cetera, et cetera. Um, for this example, I'll be mostly just using um, the member entity and the team entities. So the aim of this is to link members and teams together. So within here, I'm gonna click my member entity and just make sure that their first name is searchable and the last name is also searchable. And you can see this by clicking the attributes inside of the entity and then um, clicking the toggle button there. Sweet. So now that that is good, I'm also gonna add another um, administrator entity so that we can access this site. So I'm going to go into items and then click on the left-hand side, the blank entity and drag it across. So I'm just gonna give this a name I'm just going to call this my administrator. And then just in my description, I'm just going to call it the admin user. And then attributes, I'm going to add an extension and that is my user. Um, as you can see, it's been cre created over there. So next, I'm going to navigate onto the interface or the UI diagram. So I'm going to create a page by clicking the plus button. And I'm just gonna call that page on the right hand side here, homepage. So on our homepage, I would like to see um, a data table of our members and also our teams. So on this homepage, I'm going to go add items and I can see here that there's some headings on the left hand side. So I'll just pull across heading and drag it into our page itself and I'm going to label that heading and you can see it pops up there. So next step, I'm going to add a data table. So I'm going to drag that across here. So for this data table, I'm going to link this to our members entity. So I do this by clicking the data table and then on the right hand side, you can see there that there's a link tile to entity. So I'm going to link this here to our members. And then underneath, I'd also like another data table that will link to our teams. So I'll just like before, I'll drag it across and then link it across to our team entity. Sweet. So now that the UI diagram is all good, I can move on to our security diagram. So for here, you can see um, all of our CRUD um, requirements. So as an admin, I would really like the admin to be able to create read and update as well as delete our all of our entities as well as our pages here. So you can see that reflected in the diagram by clicking all of the options. Sweet. Um, I'd also like our administrator to have access to the back end of this application. So I can give them access by clicking these three dots right next to the administrator there. And you can see it pop up. And I am clicking with the special group access that this group has access to the back end of our application. This is really important. So click save and that should work. Um, for our coaches, 
Um, I'd just like them and our members and our visitors, I would only like them to have access to our homepage as well, just for the time being. So I just click the um, R or read options on the homepage um, row. Sweet, so now that's all good, I'm going to check for errors to make sure that I've done this all right. Perfect, no errors found. And then the next step is I'm going to build out our app. So I'm clicking build app. And for this one, I'd just like for Codebots to set me up a Git repo. So I'm gonna click the use our Git repo option. Um, so now that it's all built, I'm gonna check out my source code. So I'm going to clone this across. I'm gonna run this locally, um, but you can use Docker or any other setup you would like. So now I'm gonna clone that into um, one of my folders. Now that we've got the server side and the client side running, um, I'm just gonna navigate and see applications. So I just go on my local host. So here I'm just entering my administrator details here so that I can access the back end as well. Sweet, so as you can see on the home page, we've got um, our sports teams as our heading and we can have our two different um, CRUD data tables um, for our members and for our team. So I'll quickly add some other members as well so we can see all of our data. So when I'm creating my members, I'm making sure to add them to teams as well. So now that I've populated all my data tables, um, now we can get to work with actually adding our custom code. So as we can see on our homepage here, we have two different data tables, one for our members and for our teams. But we know that these two are linked together as can be seen in the entity diagram here. They're linked by a many to many relationship. This relationship doesn't seem to appear on these data tables. So instead of having two separate data tables, the aim of this is to link at, to have our teams visible within our members data. So that essentially means that we're adding a column on the side here for each of the members displaying which teams that they are a part of. To do this, we need to navigate to our code base itself. For the first step of this process, we need to update our custom expands. To do this, we need to navigate to our client side, SRC, app, components slash crud, members, list, and then go in the file called members-crudlist uh, component. So this we need to update our default expands. So currently it's empty, but we would like to make sure that our members and our teams are linked together through this. So we're turning on the protected region here and then going into our return and adding in our custom code. So we're labeling our name to be teams and we're adding our searchable fields for our ID and our name for our teams. So the next step that we need to do is change our header options. As you can see, we already have our header options defined here, but for this custom code, we will need to create our own. For this, we can reuse part of this component. So for this, I'm gonna copy and paste this return section as well so we can reuse it in our custom header options there. Then I'm going to add our own custom function at the bottom here. So I'm going to do this in the protected region, add any additional class methods here. So I'm gonna turn that protected region on and we'll create my new function. So I'm gonna call this function sorted headed options. So under here, I'm gonna paste our code that we stole from the previous header options above, just for ease of use. So 
So now to update our header options, including this function, we'll go back to our previous header options. So deleting the previous code, we are just going to link it to our new function. Sweet, so now we can navigate back down to our class fields and add more additional custom code. So now I'm gonna customize it so we can display our teams within our members list as well. So with our header ops, I'm gonna push the following. So our name's gonna be Teams. And our display name will also be Teams. So this just shows the header um, of the column that we're going to create. And we're gonna just set sortable to be true as well. For our source direct from model parameter, we're gonna set this from false as our team name is not part of our member model. So our model property type is going to be set as observable as we need to fetch this information from our store. So the next is our value function, which as you can see, allows us to retrieve our value from the store. In here, we're just gonna do a simple if statement to see that if we have any teams associated with our members, and if not, they will, won't display them, and if so, they will display the relevant teams. So now here that I've added this section in, um, you can see my little squiggly lines telling me I have errors. Um, so for that, we need to import um, a couple of things. So if we go up to the top here, Add any additional imports, protected region here. So we turn that protected region on and we'll add our custom imports. Sweet, now that we've added our imports, we can go back and check on our application itself to see if it all worked. So I've re reloaded my page here and as you can see, I'm on the members um, data table. And if we scroll all the way to the side, we should see a Teams column. So at the moment, none of them are linked to any Teams, but I will create an entity to show that it can happen. So as you can see, we still have our Members table as before, but if we scroll to the right, we can see our Teams column, yay! So um, as you can see, this entity here, so example three, member, is now also linked to team three. Um, if we'd like to see what it looks like when you add multiple teams, um, we can go ahead here and edit over here and link some more teams down in our edit view. So I'll add it to my team as well. And I'll also add it to team two. So we'll save that and it should be updated in that column. As you can see, this um, example two is now a part of Cassie's team, so my team and team two as well. So as you can see here, we've created a custom column here within our members data table, and that can display the teams that these members are linked to. So we can then, after this, if we want to, remove this team table all entirely as they are now combined. Thank you so much for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. And if you'd like to build your own app, head to cobots.com.